Exercise 4 is a continuation of Exercise 3, where we calculated cost of goods sold and ending inventory using the four different inventory costing methods. This exercise asks us to complete comparative income statements for the month of January for Liberty Company for the four inventory methods. Assume expenses are $1,250 and the applicable income tax rate is 30%. The format of the income statement begins with sales from which cost of goods sold is subtracted in the calculation of gross profit. During the month of January, Liberty sold 295 units at $15 per unit. Sales totaled $4,425. But as we saw in Exercise 3, cost of goods sold differed depending upon the inventory costing method used. Let's return to Exercise 3. Had the company used the specific identification method, cost of goods sold is $1,877. 136 units from the beginning inventory at $7 per unit. 130 units from the January 20th purchase at $6 per unit. And 29 units from the January 30th purchase at $5 per unit. Cost of goods sold, $1,877. When cost of goods sold is subtracted from sales, gross profit using this method is $2,548. Had Liberty used the weighted average method, cost of goods sold is $1,919. 120 units at $7 per unit and 175 units at $6.167 per unit. Sales of $4,425 minus cost of goods sold, $1,919, is gross profit of $2,506. Had the FIFO method been used, cost of goods sold 170 units at $7 per unit plus 125 units at $6 per unit. Total cost of goods sold $1,940. Sales of $4,425 minus cost of goods sold $1,940 is gross profit $2,485. And finally, had the LIFO method been used, cost of goods sold is 120 units at $7 per unit plus 175 units at $6 per unit. Total cost of goods sold, 1890 Sales, 4425 minus cost of goods sold, 1890 Gross profit, 2535 From gross profit, we subtract the expenses, 1250 in the calculation of income before taxes. 2548 minus 1250 is 1298 2506 minus 1250 is 1,256. 2,485 minus 1,250 is 1,235. And 2,535 minus 1,250 is 1,285. The next step is to subtract the tax expense, 30% of the income before taxes. 1,298 multiplied by 30% is 389. 30% of 1256 is 377. 30% of 1235 is 371. And 30% of 1285 is 386. Income before taxes minus tax expense is net income. 909, 879, 864, and 899. Requirement 2 asks which method yields the highest net income. The highest net income is realized when the specific identification method is used. Requirement 3. Does net income using the weighted average fall between that using FIFO and LIFO? And yes, it does. The answer to this question should always be yes. Requirement 4. If costs were rising instead of declining, which method would yield the highest net income? In a period of increasing pricing, cost of goods sold is lowest using FIFO as the oldest, most inexpensive items are expensed first. Having the lowest expense will generate the highest net income. So in a period of rising prices, FIFO would yield the highest net income. 